Yo, what is up, guys? How are you guys doing tonight on this fresh Saturday? The MFP coming at you guys right after the TwitchCon and the MMC. I hope some of you guys caught some of that MMC. It was, uh, it was pretty amazing. But uh, uh, we have a we have like a 50-something minute run, so we can always talk about that once we get started. So super fresh. That's right. I got chat up for you guys so I can I can read and like hang out with you guys. So this would be great. Um, yeah, uh, so I just recently did a run at GDQX with Grand Pooh Bear. We did uh, Warpless Co-op, so I'm not going to be too rusty with Warpless. As you guys know, I just did the the any percent no wrong warp, so that's pretty cool. Regardless, I'm going to get the countdown going, all right? And then uh, we can get this run going, and then if you guys have any questions, I can fill in for, for anything you guys need to know about this particular run. So I'm going to do on go, we're going to start. So I'm going to do 3, 2, 1, go, and then we're going to start, all right? Oh my god, I'm good luck, Mitch. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. So, like most runs, the first level is always the hardest because, you know, if you die, and it's very likely to happen in this. Okay, we're safe now. Very likely to happen in this game. You can just, like, jump and then boom, you're dead. So, uh, lots of things can happen. I'm still. I don't know. I'm not, so I just started using a CRT, and I'm not like super fresh to the point where if I'm away from the CRT for like a week and I come back, I'm like still like super in my groove. It's like a constant adjustments for the CRT, but I, I don't know, I think I'm doing pretty okay. I think I'm doing pretty okay. You know? It's all that, you know, just get it, get it done, you know? But aside from that, so this is the uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 Any% percent Warpless category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entire game and not use any warp whistles, which means I have to, you know, do every level. But I don't, I don't have to do every level in the world, which is awesome because I can strategically set up using, like, clouds, hammers, and all that fun stuff uh, throughout the worlds to, like, skip auto-scrollers and, like, super long levels. Ooh, super scary. That fortress is pretty scary. Pretty scary. CRT, baby. Yeah, CRTs aren't too bad. CRTs do bad. What, what time is it for you guys right now? Right now, it is currently 9. 9.33 for me. Not too late. Not too late. I heard it was like 4.30 for Cool Kid and he just did his run. Oh, dang. You always got to go for those tunnels. I'm gonna do a turn back there. I don't. I don't want to get hit by the star there, right? I don't want to get three stars and a cutscene. I get five laps. I don't need. I don't need any of that. But unfortunately, getting hit there is gonna cause me to lose time here and take mushroom. But you know what? Like I took chances, so I don't really mind about that. I mean, right? Like that's not too much of a big deal. It's worth it for the tunnel. I know you guys were getting ready for the tunnel spam, spamming the tunnels. Right on. So that's pretty much World 1. It's honestly the most nerve-wracking run, I'd say, in the entire game. Like, other things, like, there are some very punishing things throughout this run, but World 1 is, uh, if you just don't get it started, you know what I mean, like that? Like, why you gotta be like that, Hammer Brother? Why you gotta be like that, you know? But, um... Right on. Spamming the tunnel, it's a it's an emote I have on my channel for whenever I get the tunnel. <laughs> the jank tunnel. Uh, no, from actually getting that mushroom, this world one is probably gonna be, uh... I, I don't know, 3.30... I, I don't know, I wanna say 3.36, 3.37. That's why speedrunners are so famous for resetting, right? I mean, we always... I learned a long time ago from SDA, where it's like... If you don't make your world one perfect, what's the point kind of thing, you know? And that, that like, stuck in my head, like, for so long. But really, some of the best runs come from, like, a, you know, a pretty bad world one or something like that. So don't always... You don't always have to worry about that. Alright, so... Finish up this airship, and then we'll just go on to... World two, nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. We should be able to fire kill him here, I hope. I hope. Oh my god, don't jump! Don't jump! Speedrunners are famous for cheating. Now, 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 okay. I strategically manipulated the game. That's what I like to call it. A strategic workaround. <laughs> I 
totally called it. What was my... It was a 335, huh? Not bad. That's not bad, considering a 333 is all right. Whenever you guys hear mashing like that, I'm just like OCDing my button presses. I got nothing better to do with my life right now. <laughs> to, honestly. So I haven't played World 2 on this CRT TV yet, and let me tell you, the orange is really vibrant. Whoa. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Yo, thank you so much, 22SE. Alright, so this world is very RNG dependent on the Hammer Brothers, and we gotta make sure these Frig Bros aren't acting like a bunch of Frigs, you know what I mean? So, in Mario 3, every world has Hammer Brothers except for World 7 and World 8, and they move around after every level, and depending on where they move determines how long they actually move for. And, you know, where, you know, the longer they move, the longer it takes for me to start the next level and the longer, you know, my timer's running for. So we want them to move around as least possible. I got, I got the worst of the two after level one, but we'll see how things go here. Oh, oh I got it too. I got, I got too excited. So I did get the early P-Speed. I just got too excited, kind of jumped a little too early. But luckily, I know some backups that allowed me to reobtain it there with some some body rubs. Good old body rubs. All right, right on. If I if I ever go quiet for a little bit, it's definitely because I have to like you know kind of concentrate on some of the things I'm doing. Oh, I can't wait to see Giant World. Okay, so that's the Hammer Brother acting like a jerk right there. Now there's a lot of orange in this level. Oh, gotta watch out for that turtle. Kinda came out of nowhere. I'm getting jibate, jibates by the turtles here. Alright, this is a pretty standard strat. You just kinda knock the shell. And he has a good time in there. I don't really have to worry about him too much. This is actually one of the easier levels in this world. It's not like 2-4, uh, which can actually be pretty stressful. Dude, I'm always watching up for ghosts. So, I don't want to get the extra hammer brother in this world, but I also don't want to do 2-4 because I, I really don't care to, uh... You know what? Let's go for it. I've had enough of this game already. And by that, I mean I'm just getting warmed up, you know? <laughs> You're never gonna catch me, son, okay? Y you might one time, you know, 8-2, but, you know, that's another story. Always 8-2. Yeah, I might as well go for this level. Why not, right? I got nothing to lose. Yeah, see? There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, I just clenched for 15 seconds straight. That's all. That's healthy, right? Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So hopefully he moves up. Yeah, he did. Absolutely not that. Right on. The worst RNG movement. Well, maybe they can move back. They might be able to move back for me, we'll see. Oh, that is... That's what happens when you try and cut everything pixel perfect. That's okay, luckily I can get my... Luckily I can get my uh, HBs. Excuse me, sorry about that. Right on. Uh, so he's gonna move down for sure. I won't be able to go for any, like, fire kill or anything like that, so I don't really mind. It's no big deal. Uh, I don't- I do not use a dog bone, no. No dog bone. Oh, right on. Okay, perfect. I got two forward throws, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. So, as I was explaining before, like, it's all RNG here, so, I mean, I can't- There's nothing I can really complain about right now, I mean... <laughs> All of that was out of my control. I went the difficult path, like, I was saving more time by choosing the levels I chose. Um, but the game said, you know what, Mitch, like, I don't care how you feel about wh how well you play, I'm just gonna screw you over anyways. So, I literally got the worst outcome from the path that I chose. Had I chose, if I were to chose, uh, the level 5 path, I would've been great. It would have been perfect. I would have been able, you know, I've been happy. It would have been safe, you know, no clenches for 15 seconds. But, you know, 
them. So we have to do that in every world in this in this game, except for seven and eight. But some worlds aren't bad, like. World 6 isn't too bad. Uh, World 3 is the worst. World 3 can have a Hammer Brother outcome that is just the worst. <laughs> um, literally reset. Uh, that's how bad it is. Uh, not even not even on world record pace. You know, there's some people who want to grind out like a 51 minute time in Warpless. And sadly, that's barely going to happen if you get the bad RNG in World 3. So hopefully we don't get it here. If I do get it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the auto scroller, save the cloud, use the cloud somewhere else. Oh, look at that, run jump. Because that pattern is pretty, pretty standard, right? Alright, let's get this wall jump here. Oh, not even close. Maybe I was close. Yeah, auto scrollers, right? Right on. Okay, so that's world one and two. So my biggest mistakes so far have been, um, I didn't get the tunnel, which caused me to lose damage in world one, and I just got really bad RNG in world two. I mean, I lost my fire flower in, in the pyramid, but like, you know, whatever. I get it back in the ship, so no big deal. Please no runaway, exactly. Whoever's saying no hands, you guys are a little fruit. You guys are a little early for that one right now. We want to get no runaway, bro. That's what we're focused on. So. You guys are going to want to keep your eyes on the top right Hammer Brother in this world. Make sure he does not go off screen. If he disappears and goes off screen, it's bad news. It's bad news. We don't want to, we don't want to deal with that. Oh, see, he's going up. That's bad times. Oh my gosh. I pixel perfect those, uh, those fish, by the way. That was definitely the first, that was easily, on both of those fish, the first pixel I could have landed on them. Anything, one pixel earlier, I would have taken damage. And I got Runaway Bro. So I got, I'm getting the worst RNG in this run that I could possibly get so far. And, like, that's completely possible to this point yet. <laughs> Like, literally, I'm getting the worst RNG. Like, even in World 2, I got... the World 2's RNG was the worst RNG I've ever seen, and so far, World 3. Hopefully, he comes back. He did run away pretty early, so hopefully, he comes back. Alright, he's in there pretty deep. Guess he's not coming back. I I, I just want to say, for the record, that I believe that I'm, I'm playing pretty well. Like, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm doing that bad. You guys can say, but Mitch, you just lost your fire flyer. You need that. But not really. If I got it, run away, bro. I just get my fire back on the auto scroller. He ran so far away. That's right. So we'll see. All right. So hopefully, nah. It sounds like he did that movement too. I, I've, I've only got two levels left, and then that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm a goner. Whistles are not allowed. No, this category is called warpless. So no warps. Watch, he's gonna. That's. I'm gonna get the fire flower from from here, because I know he's gonna be. I know he's gonna be a little jerk. I know he's gonna. I know he's gonna be a jerk. Like if he comes. So if I didn't grab fire. If I didn't grab fire in here, he'd come back and I'd be screwed out of fire. But because I grab fire, he's not coming back. There's. He's not coming back. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna face the facts. I'm gonna just gonna do the auto scroller, then use the cloud somewhere else. Which this, this, right now, what I'm doing here is like a backup for what you do in like marathons and races and stuff like that. Like, like if, if I was at a GDQ, like if I was at a GDQ and I was doing a warpless run and that happened, I would do this auto scroll. I mean, there's, I, I don't have a choice. This is naturally a reset, um, but there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. And like I said, I'm doing a marathon right now, and this is 
this is the, the the choices I have. The good thing is, is that you know the difference between a really good player and somebody who's less experienced is that knowing knowing what you need to do and like what what options you have in certain uh, circumstances and situations. And luckily, in Mario Three, I feel very confident in almost any situation I'm given. So uh, luckily. I'm okay with this, you know what I mean? It would suck if I was in the middle of my run and this happened, and like, you know, I got all depressed and down and like upset and worried, right? Nobody wants that, right? Just, you know, know your game and be prepared for the worst, right? And I think this is great. Hey, 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 let's, we gotta take it easy on the auto-scrollers. <laughs> auto-scrollers are still our friends sometimes. So we do all that because of the bridge, right? We need the bridge to be closed to cross to skip the level. And because I didn't get to fight the extra hammer, brother. I mean, I could have taken a death, but that probably would have been worse. I do not wish every Mario level was not a schooler. That is the opposite of things that I wish for. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the H. I failed this at GDQX. Got him. Got him. Right on, okay, so that was World 3 at its worst. Uh, we've seen World 2 at its worst. We've seen World 3 at its worst, so... Um, all right. <laughs> World 1 actually gave me good Hammer Brother RNG as I was able to get the uh, Fire Flower from the, from the guy. So that was pretty good. Yes, exactly. We, 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 we will try and go up from here. So this is arguably the easiest boss to kill with Fire Flower because uh, she's just on the ground just kind of like running. So you just kind of like shoot at the ground and you strategically set up the fireballs to like kind of bounce on the floor. Combo! You can never forget about the combos, guys. The double kills. You know? But yeah, so um, this boss is pretty easy. There's not, not too much to worry about. I, th I think every runner is not as stressed for this boss, which is kind of funny because this boss is really difficult sometimes. With small Mario, or if you're big Mario, you don't. If you if you can't if you don't fire kill the boss, she like throws these rings out, and they're all over the place, and it can be pretty hard to actually land land on the boss and get some hits in. Pretty scary. Strategically, not jump exactly. We just need to you know do some sways. <laughs> Wait, you don't like my auto scrollers? <laughs> Ooh, that. I don't think that was a combo. I don't think that counted as a combo. So we'll try and do it here. Right on. Oh, the two swag shots. Right on. Okay, so moving on to World 4. Moving on to World 4, this is like, I, I think this is everyone's like favorite world to be honest. Most people say they really like, who, who likes World 5? I mean, come on. It, world 5 is cool and everything, but nothing moves on the map. Did you guys know that? Nothing moves on the overworld in World 5. Like, come on, at least stuff's dancing here. Anyways, we all like this world because everything's giant. That's definitely the reason why we all like it. it it's different, right? It's, it's, it's unique. First level down, not so bad, not so bad. I, th I think it's great, I think I'm playing pretty well, I just, I think the game is... You know what, that is some good World 4 RNG right there. I knew the game couldn't keep it up forever. So, the good thing about Mario 3 is that sometimes it caves and just gives you like a string of like, a lot of good RNG together. It happens. It happens. But... <laughs> I think this game likes to screw us over more. See, good RNG. I got, so far, the perfect RNG in this world. If I get a movement of one after this, then... 
e easily the most perfect RNG so far. No. Alright. Uh, everyone loves this level in the speedrun world because it's like so fast paced. It looks really nice. Weep! I just gotta watch my A presses, make sure I don't frig, frig it up. There we go, it's pretty good. It looks really cool, and it honestly, it feels nice. It feels really nice. Hope you guys are having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, marathon, man. It's been great so far. Ooh, that menu. All right. Level's hard. That level, that level's hard. The worlds, the worlds are just kind of getting a little bit more difficult as I'm going, or at least have some more difficult levels in it. So if I quiet down a little bit, it's just, I'm just trying to focus. That's all. You guys can hear my controller, so you got, you, at least you guys know I'm still here. Oh my god, the pixel there? Still got it. It was a very beautiful pixel jump. Followed by a face smash into a brick. Right on, so we love World 4, but it goes by too fast. There's no auto, well, the longest part of World 4 is actually the, the airship, but there's no auto scrollers in World 4, right? So it's just literally, you have the potential of fighting three Hammer Brothers or two Hammer Brothers or one Hammer Brother, and the most often scenario is one Hammer Brother. Um, and that's what I did this turn. Uh, music box, slight less movements and stuff like that. So really, <laughs> the world was done in like four minutes. It's gonna come down to like six to seven minutes because of the auto scroller. But we, you know, I don't even include the auto scroller in anything. Like people say, you know, how long is Mario Three Warpless? I say it's it's got to be like forty two minutes, right? But it's no. If World Eight didn't have auto scrollers, it would literally be like what? If if it had no auto scrollers and you got no hands, what what would it be? Four four levels, including Bowser's Castle, so it'd be like five minutes long. But actually. <laughs> Truth be told, World 8 is 12 minutes long. <laughs> I would like to save $400 on a washer dryer set, that would be awesome. That would be fantastic. Uh, I think people have done speedruns of the fly swatter in Mario Paint, I think that is a thing. Yeah, World 8 is um, one of the worst worlds, I'd probably say, in, in Mario 3. And, and it's only because of the auto-scrollers. The actual levels themselves are really fun, and they have some really cool speed strats. I like World 8 in terms of in terms of playing. Um, I don't like World 8 in terms of, um, like, I don't know, the, the level design, you know? The, the, the <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to explain. I feel like the overworld was designed perfectly with the levels. I know, I go for the wall jumps, guys. I'm sorry. I go for the wall jumps. 
Um, yeah, I guess this is a good time to say that, you know, if you guys enjoy a lot of Mario 3, I stream uh, daily. I just got back from TwitchCon and MMC. And uh, I think you can type in exclamation streamer or exclamation runner, and that'll give you uh, a link to my page. And uh, yeah, you should give me a follow. I, uh, I try and grind for these world records just as much as, you know, almost every other runner you've been watching on this thing. So, so you should definitely give it a go and see... Um, See if you like my page, see if you like me as a as a streamer, no, it's really good. And I want to give a lot of shoutouts to Best and S for throwing this. This whole thing on, you guys are freaking amazing. Alright, so the Hammer Brothers switched, which means the game is back to uh, Mitch, I'm going to give you the worst plastic. But I went and rolled it up into a ball and threw it back in Mario 3's face by getting P-Speed in 5-1, so... Yeah, well, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching my run. This is awesome, man. I'm having a great time. And... I have to go for it right here, because I don't have a P-Wing. Maybe if I'm lucky, maybe if the Hammer Brother moves up, I'm good. But at the same, I don't mind. Like I said, the game is back to, hey Mitch, let's do some of the worst RNG we possibly can. All right, well, thank you so much Mario 3 for being super cooperative. All right. <laughs> All right, we're back to normal. Oh God. Is everything okay? Did everything... Did, is everything okay? See a little bit of panic. Uh, yeah, I've been messing that one up lately a lot. Why? Like, I've never even had that happen before. That's fine. I didn't even- I didn't even know anyone left, but... Sorry. As long as you guys are back, I'm happy. Look at that, I didn't get... You know, I got slight good RNG, but here comes a bunch of movements of three. Yeah, I was trying to make sure everything was okay rather than paying attention to the level I just did. Kinda cost me Fire Flower, but I know I get one on the airship, so I'm fine with it. So I'm cool with it. True story, Mitch is the kid from the wizard. <laughs> well, I don't want to say- oh, look at that, moving to three. I don't want to say anything, you know. I was gonna go for early P-Speed here, but I think it's super important that I just make sure I don't mess up. Okay, alright, let's take it easy. <laughs> alright. As long as I get my Fire Flower back, I'm happy. I am blowing through all these levels. I'm not. I'm really not having much issue. Literally the worst RNG in my life so far. Dang it, I got the movement of one for good boss pattern, but I have to get Fire Flower. <laughs> Dude, we've had some pretty hardcore clenches. Alright, so that was World 5. World 5, I would say, is one of the hardest to get from beginning to end perfect. Um, including RNG. I am including RNG on a perfect world 5 because uh, the difference between a perfect RNG and like a really bad RNG world 5 in terms of perfect skill comparing perfect skill with both you know RNG outcomes is a very large number. And what I mean is that if you play perfectly and you get good RNG and you play perfectly and get bad RNG, there's going to be a big time difference. I pretty much just said the same thing two times you know, differently right there. But I wanted to make sure uh, everyone understood how much World 5 can really change change the, the course of the run. You get a lot of bad RNG, like you can come anywhere close to like 10 to 15 second time difference compared to a run that did the exact same things as you but got good RNG. It's, it's insane how bad World 5 can be in terms of that. So I think World 5 is the hardest to execute perfectly. Like the strats are hard, like, all together, plus the RNG is just a nightmare. So. We're glad to be out of this world. World 5 sucks. Oh, I 
could have got it. Beep, 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 beep. Right on. Um, yeah, so what it, what exactly do we have up next? Do you guys know? Do you guys know what we have up next for that? That's that's right after me. I did know I forgot because I was setting everything up and then now I've been focused on the run that I can't even remember what exactly is next. I just want to as, as soon as I know I want to hype it up. I want to hype up what's next. Boop, boop. So I didn't get the best hammer brother pattern there. Not much I could do about it. Oh, right on. Right near Halloween, getting spooky. All right, so, dude, literally the worst RNG in this run I could ever possibly ask for. <laughs> oh, this game. What, you know, whenever I go and do like a marathon run in this game, I really don't expect to get like the worst RNG possible. Um, but literally, I'm, I'm. <laughs> oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! It's good times. And yeah, we got the upside down question mark. Orb. Oh, more, more Mario threes after this run. I didn't know. Can we get, can we get Mark on the phone? We have a little difficulty here. Mark's out for lunch. What? Get him over here. Uh, I think. Okay, thank God. Normally you want P speed, but you know, I don't care to get P speed in this level. Uh, normally. World record pace runs. Yes, I definitely want RNG. I got it, I got it. I didn't think I got it at first, but I got it. So what I did there is like, I did a sprite overload by causing one of the ice blocks to continue its journey. Get the ice block to continue its journey um, to where I was whenever I, whenever I spawned. Hold on, I need to, this is, this is it, right? Yeah, finally got some good RNG, boys. I know we got some good RNG. My goodness. Only took forever. Sorry, I'm in concentrate mode. So now I don't have to worry about Hammer Brothers. Bring on the coin chips, please. Please coin chip here. Come on, give me a coin chip. No. No, I wanted the coin chip. The coin chips. Yeah, that's my first bump. The run. Watch out for the three stars. We got him. Got him. Uh, this is definitely the first time I've played this. Just kidding. No, they're not coin ships. They're coin chips. C-H-I-P-S. Coin chips. Come on. Yes. We got a coin chip here. Oh, yeah. Look at this glorious coin chip spawn. Look at it. Oh, we got to hear it, but we didn't get to see it. No. I want the coin chips. coin chips so um i feel bad because these these worlds are actually flying by we're already hitting up world seven right now which makes me sad because like i'm having a lot of fun with you guys but um yeah world six is unfortunately over and we have a very sad auto scroller coming up for anyone who didn't know yes there are auto scrollers after every single world which kind of sucks but you know it's not too bad it's not too bad there we go 
All right. We did that world pretty fast. What do you think? Uh, I don't think we really messed too much up. I think that world was actually pretty, uh, pretty top tier. I mean, I didn't get perfect P-speed in the first fortress, but... Let's try and get let's try and get a silly free clip in this. Well, the clip itself isn't free. Yeah, that was a pretty fast world. Uh, world six there, that was pretty good. I got good RNG. I got a. The reason it wouldn't look good on paper is because of the uh, long movements I got. I got a I got a movement of like four or five or something right after the first hammer brother. I think. Stupid frigs got caught on top of each other. Well, we'll show them. We'll show them. You guys can't see me, but I'm squinting. Like, we'll show them. We'll show the Hammer Brothers next time. Once there was a robot named Todd, and he had a robot from... I don't like the story. Oop! I gotta watch out for that fire. It's like, it's not close, but it is close. It's such a weird fire jump. And that's it! <laughs> that boss is incredibly easy. And... <laughs> Alright, well, here comes 7-1. Um, so, the, in World 7, the first level, there's a doorway right at the beginning. It's got 90 degree angle with the two bricks, and if I duck jump perfectly, you don't have to duck jump, but um, explain it best with a duck jump. If I duck jump perfectly, Mario can hit the... the the side of the wall and actually stand up and then Mario's head is in the wall and it allows them to just zip through the entire level and it's completely RNG there are some things with the mic control but we chalk it down to RNG because there are times where you can do it perfectly and not achieve it uh, doing a first try is obviously most ideal um, but sometimes it takes time if it, if it stops working with like the duck like maybe you could start doing it like standing up but as you can see it's it's being extremely difficult for me but I got it I got it there's, like, there's literally not much I can do there for that. But, you know. Let's see how long we can keep 99 coins for, by the way. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's reset. If I was on world record pace and that happened there, I would reset. I know, it sucks, because I wouldn't be in world record pace anymore. That's the worst part of it. <laughs> yeah, I, definitely, I definitely just got it first try. I got it like, you know, 6th or 7th or something. I, I, I wasn't counting. Oh, crap. And I wasn't paying attention. But we got it. We're good. I got a first first try. I was actually paying attention, exactly. I got a first try at GDQX after I, like, talked about it for a little bit. So that's good. I like this relief right now because I don't have to wait for Grand Pooh Bear to do his level. Or, like, the hacks or the whole co-op thing, right? I don't have to do any waiting and I get to stay... Stay Mario, so I like this. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun like this. So, World 7's interesting because it's like one of the easiest and hardest worlds. Um, you save up a lot of your uh, powers. So, like, P-Wings, Music Box, Stars, all that stuff for this world. So, like, there's like four levels that... There's three levels that we just skipped. 7-1, seven, 7-4-1, one, seven, one, and 7-6. Seven, we cloud seven seven four. We music box the piranha plant. We star seven two. We star seven eight, and we uh, we cloud past uh, the fortress. So it's just like all we do is just power abuse this entire level or this this entire world. Pretty easy, but like some of the strats themselves are pretty difficult. So that's that's why this world's like the easiest but the hardest. Very strange. So like that level right there, all I did was P-Wing. This level I just P-Winged, and you guys saw me in 7-1, I just clipped. 7-2, uh, I just used the star to damage boost, boost af after, uh, across everything, and yeah, so. this is, I'm doing one of the hardest levels right now. Did 
doing one of the hardest levels right now. That hits intentional. And that hits okay. As long as I get in the pipe. It doesn't matter what state you're in, you'll always turn into Hammer Suit after grabbing that one. So the damage boosts are intentional. Do not. Shout out to crowd control, yes. Do not drop it on me. Uh, I'm gonna do this level because I don't really want to do the fortress. And why not do the clips, right? Oh, look at that. See, first clip. Look at that. Let's get another one. Oh, look at that. What a surprise. Let's go for the last one. It'll probably not work. Oh, look at that. What a surprise. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm jumping too early right now. Dang, man, it sucks when you get them all perfect, and then you get this. This one should be the easiest clip, but it's being a jerk. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna go. Not too worried about it. I should have just, like, went for all four, right? Oh, the, the fire flower caused it. Yeah. Yeah, panic. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. So here, here we just get to power abuse my way out of this world. Yeah, see? World 7's... See? What did I tell you? World 7's not too bad. The clips, right? I get the first two clips first try. And then the clip that I normally don't really mess up on, but... So yeah, it's pretty dope. And here is another auto-scroller that's uh, super long. This one isn't as long as the World 4 auto-scroller, but it is uh, pretty long. And then guess what's after this? Another auto-scroller. No way. Guess what's after that? Another auto-scroller. And if I get no hands, guess what's after that? Another auto-scroller. So technically, if you get no hands, you have four auto-scrollers from this point. Isn't that fantastic? Four yummy, juicy auto-scrollers. Bikin big bok bok big my bikin big pork pork beep 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 Let me guess, let me guess. I know exactly. You you guessed it. Come on down. Someone wake up literally, I think it is almost ten minutes by the time I get to eight one. Like, this one's two, the next one's two, the next one's like one and a bit, then I got all the overworld and pipes and stuff like that, and I got across the hands, and we're including the hands. Every hand is an auto-scroller, too. Because it's, we don't want to do them, and that's, that's how we gauge it. And then the Air Force is like 50-something seconds long. Am I using, I am using my hands, but there are hand levels at the end of this game in World 8 after the next two auto-scrollers. That, uh, there's three levels that pull me down. It's a 50-50% uh, chance, well, 50-50 chance to get pulled in by the hand, and you really don't want that to happen. Uh, if that happens, then you have to do uh, a level. And if you do the level, it's gonna cost you, like, 20 seconds. 20 seconds apiece, pretty close. I know. Guys, this run went by too fast. I feel like I just started World 1 and 2, you know? It's because we're having too much fun. See what see what happens? Oh, and then we get a different King's message because I'm wearing the hammer suit. Hey, how about lending me your clothes? No dice? What a drag. Awkward. Awkward, if you ask me. Awkward. Did the king really just ask for my clothes? Like, right there. In front of Toad and everything, nobody gets naked in front of Toad. There are some places in my life where it's alright, but in front of a Toad, no. And I'll tell you, I was Toad for Halloween. I would know. But yes, uh, depending on what suit you're in, you can get a different message. If you're in Frog Suit, the king will actually say something different too. If you're in Tanuki Suit, the king will say something different. And that works for all worlds. Poor Toad's eyes, right? That's what I'm trying to tell everyone. 
Toad can't handle it. He he can't get stressed out and lose the last three strands of his hair. It's just he can't have that happen to him. Well, I don't want to say I was the president of that for Halloween, but I was President Mushroom for Halloween. That's right. Because we all know that Toad has a mushroom on the top of his head. It is actually just a hat for anyone who doesn't know. Toad's mushroom top is just a hat. That's all. It's just a hat. No big deal. No big deal. Um, okay. okay. We're gonna skip some lag here. Eh, I like probably like you know 20 frames. Or, no, 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 not 20 frames. I probably lagged maybe I don't know seven frames. Oh, I should have done the clip here. I can show off the clip. Oh, look at that! I finally got a good piece of RNG for once. And the hammer. Oh, he still threw the boomerang slow. That's kind of funny. Alright, guess what's next? Jeez, didn't see this coming. What sucks too is that these levels are like actually kind of cool. The levels aren't that bad. Like I don't I don't mind tank brigade one and two. I really don't. It sounds like I'm trying to convince myself. I, really, Mitch, I don't. I don't dislike the auto scrollers. If I get no hands, guess what's after that? I wonder. Beep. If I have my hammer suit still, uh, I'm definitely gonna go for the overkill in uh, the tank or the uh, the. Um, I can't think of the word. The fortress. The fortress. So as you guys saw in World Six, remember I got that star in the first fortress in World Six, and I killed the boom boom with the star, and the qu the question orb turned upside down and went to the center, and it canceled out boom boom's like flashing animation before he died. Um, that happened was because the star damaged the Boom Boom, uh, each frame did a tick of damage, so if you just jump into the Boom Boom, you're doing like hundreds of damage, right? Well, the same thing works with the hammers. The hammers per frame will do a tick of damage, so if I throw the hammers at the Boom Boom extremely fast, um, I will overkill the Boom Boom, causing him to do the upside down orb, but it's very, very precise. No water strat? Nah, not needed. You can actually die by accident going under the water, and you really don't want to do that um, with the hammer suit or anything. Like, that's not worth it kind of thing, right? Ah, uh, this is the... I, ex I, I expect to get every single hand here. Okay, thank God that didn't happen. <laughs> so, uh, doing this level cost me 20 seconds. It was completely out of my control. It's RNG. There we go, not bad, one hand. So I crossed over the other two levels, which had the same percentage of chance to pull me in, and I got lucky. So I won two 50-50s, I lost one. Oh no. Weep. In my world record run for this category, I almost lost my hammer suit in this level. I'm out of practice on this level with the hammer suit. The fire flower doesn't really matter because you can just you just shoot them as you land. No big deal. This level's a little bit harder with the, with the hammer suit. It doesn't have to be hard with the hammer suit. You can strategically uh, shoot your hammers. You know, I just I never saw the need to. It's an auto scroll. I can just jump on everything. I just treat it like it's small Mario. I still have 99 coins, by the way, guys. Have you guys been keeping track? Remember at the start of World Seven, I was like, let's see how long we have it for. Still got them. Although that's going to change, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Right? Right? There's got to be a coin around here somewhere. World record was early hammer and it wasn't, it was not post. Or was it post 2 3? I don't know, I can't remember. But it was early hammer.
Beautiful. Ah, but we lost the 99, guys. Almost 293. <laughs> I should, I need to despawn the coin. And I need to despawn the coin. Isn't there a jump right here that I can do? No! I thought I saw people do jumps there. It's no big deal though, it's okay. Yeah, I thought I've seen I thought I've seen runners jump into that wall there before. But obviously. I had to I must have been watching something else. Maybe it was like it's like a high jump into the wall or something. I was close, I mean the orb the orb just go goes like around or something. <laughs> Reset. It's okay, guys. The hammer suit really isn't like it's. We want the fire flower. The hammer suit's cool and all, but fire flower is way better. I know. I don't know slow strats. I should have done the any percent. Strat. If I had a star right now, guys, I would go for the Bowser's castle. I know, I wouldn't be able to go for the overkill. Casually trying out new strats in Marathon Run, no biggie. Yeah, normally I have a star there, or um, or I don't use a star in, in A1, but uh, the circumstances, so it was okay. I'm so used to doing runs with fire and with hammer suit that I don't, I don't even care that I lose hammer suit anymore. Hammer suit's not new and exciting anymore, it's not like an internet, you know what I mean? Like. A couple years ago, I was like, oh my god, you need to keep the hammer suit. I used to struggle so much keeping hammer suit for the end of runs a couple years ago, but now it's not its not too much of a thing anymore. Hammer suit's cool, but, you know, come on, hammer suit. You, can't, you can never keep up with the fire strats. The fire strats are so beautiful. Frog suit, exactly, right? When are we going to bring in the frog suit finishes now? Those are not old. Those, the frog suit finishes are still hot new. Which, you know, statue Bowser kill. Where's that, you know? We need some statue kills. Uh, my A press. I made it up, though. I don't have my input display, so I don't, I don't get the, I don't get the help. If I didn't duck there, I would have died. Yeah. That Bowser jumped extremely fast, man. He shot one bullet and he's like, I'm coming up. Which sucks. Normally you want to get all your shots off right away. And time. And if you saw a little flicker there, right? Right before I entered the door, I turned back into Fire Mario. So I, I never lost it. Now he's just Mitch. Right on. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, that's pretty fun considering I hadn't played this game since GDQX. And at, even at GDQX, I only played half the levels I'm normally supposed to play. So I, I'm happy with... How I played. I, play, I think I played really well. Cons yeah, so... I mean, recently all I've been doing is the any percent no wrong warp, and then I did some co-op stuff. So it's been like, probably a month. A little, a little before that. Yeah, well I did the no wrong warp for like three weeks, so I didn't really touch warpless. I only did warpless once, and that was to get a sub... 53, I think. Dude, I had a lot of fun, guys. Um, and again, if you like to watch more of me, go to twitch.tv slash MitchFlowerPower. I do runs daily, which I'm excited to get back into after just coming home from TwitchCon and MMC. Um, but aside from that, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the marathon. Um, uh, can you, do you guys know what my time was? I'm going to guess it was like a 54, 55. 
simply just based on the World 3 and all the bad RNG. I'm gonna miss you guys. Woo! We're having a great time.